So Jade is our 57th Warframe to be added to this game, and she is supposedly a support frame. She's about as much of a support as a Apache helicopter is, because the way she can be built is for support, but also absolute terrorization of the uh, enemy types in this game. With our first ability, Light's Judgment, it is a heal over time and a damage over time that deals primarily heat damage about 500 a second. It heals at 8% health per second, and its duration is 10 seconds for the well and the buff timer. Next up is Symphony of Mercy. This basically is a rotator between power strength, weapon damage, and shield restoration. After casting it, you can cycle it, and it will come back if you get kills on enemies that have been affected by judgment. Next up is Aphanium Eyes. Imagine putting Gloom into your eyeballs. It slows and reduces damage, uh, damage reduces defense on enemies. So it's Gloom and Armor Strip and it can fully armor strip. Finally, you have Glory on high. This is basically being an Apache helicopter. You fly up, you deal a ton of damage, and you get 35% damage reduction uh, at base. With this, it also is based on your Glory, which is your exalted weapon, and most people use it as an alt fire, but you can also use it for single firing. Let's cover the two builds I have for uh, Jade. Then we'll cover glory then we'll test it in steel path so like i said when it comes to jay there are two ways to play her you can play her as a gun platform or play her based off her abilities let's first cover the fourth ability focus with this i'm using archon continuity transport to dark on stretch over extended streamline auger secrets umbral intensify and boreal's hatred things you can change in this is this can be changed to normal primed continuity change umbral intensify for archon intensify use aerodynamic to take full advantage of using your four pistol lamp to boost the damage of your four since it goes off your glory arcan avenger to boost glory multi augmented to make everything deal even more damage and this do even more on top of everything else and cunning drift for more ability range with this we'll be using a armor like focus one with corrosive radiation and heat with our shards we'll be running two blues for more energy a tau forge red for ability duration tau forge violet for a cheap equilibrium and Tau Forge Topaz to increase our crit chance whenever we kill an enemy affected by heat. So when it comes to using this build, you're always going to start on Power of the Seven, proc this, press this, swap over to your uh, squad weapon, throw one of these down, and right click. Or uh, mouse four, sorry, not right click. Middle mouse for people who have not changed it, and basically it wipes a field. So when it comes to pet options, because this is something that does matter for her is what pet use. You can use a priming pet like a uh, dog, but something I do recommend for people to try is using a Nautilus because of his cordon being able to yank in enemies and grouping them up better, which helps her with her glory killing with her glory on high. That was the fourth ability focus build. Let's cover the gunslinger and then we'll go to steel path and try out the fourth ability focus. So we cover the fourth ability focus. What about the gunslinger? Well, this can easily be changed and so can this, but we're using pistol lamp in case we need to go into our glory on high. Same thing with Boreal's hatred, just to make sure that we get a jail, uh, get a free get out of jail card. You can use Archon Continuity or Primed Continuity, whichever one you prefer. Blind Rage, Archon Stretch, in case you use a pet that does electricity damage, you get free energy. Adaptation for whenever we're not flying, uh, just to be safe. Overextended for more range on our Light's Judgment and Ophanium Eyes. Umbral Intensify, which can be replaced with um, Archon Intensify. Streamline for more efficiency and Boreal's Hatred for re even more damage reduction in case we have to fly and the additional ability efficiency. Arcane Avenger, which is used for our, uh, basically everything since it gives a crit chance when we get hit and will augmented to boost the damage of Light's Judgment and Ophanium Eyes. When using her too, which I forgot to mention, you always start on your Power of the Seven since once you pop Power of the Seven, when you swap, it also boosts uh, Deathbringer and Spirit of Resilience. But since we're using her as a uh, damage platform, we're gonna usually stay on Deathbringer. When going up against enemies, you'll pop your Ophanium Eyes, You'll throw one of these down, and as you see, over time, you'll see a couple of them just start losing their armor. There we go. Then you just start, well, doing damage. And as long as there's a light judgment down on the ground, you will continue to have your boosts happen. And the reason she's such a good weapons platform is, well, she slows, she gives damage over time, and she armor strips and heals. So overall, she's quite strong, and even whenever we're not using her for her fourth ability, she still does quite well, as you can tell. It still does damage. It still does what we're after, which is killing. I'm going to go ahead and set up everybody that I need for my builds so my weapons and stuff, and I'll see you guys in Steel Path. So here we are in Steel Path. So overall, how does she feel? Well, she doesn't feel bad at all, to be honest with you. And especially since she is helpful as a uh, weapons platform, I'm able to use a lot of my abilities without any fear of basically dying. But since we are using our fourth ability focus build, how does it feel? Well, 
If I could right click. Oh, my Light's Judgment despawned. That's interesting. Basically, it feels quite quite nice, if I had to be honest with you. Sadly, since my energy is quite uh, bad, since for some reason not a single health orb has dropped, I am struggling to hit my uh, alt fire a lot. But with this build, what you would basically do if you didn't have all the shards I had on, you could easily swap it over to having two violet shards instead of just having one, and that would help you even more than what mine are. But overall, I am using Archon Stretch to help me give him uh, energy thanks to my pet. But sadly, you would be seeing more health orbs. I'm just getting pretty unlikely, it seems. But you would throw one and just alt fire all the time. It's basically all you would do with this build. Oh, but something I will mention now, since I did forget to mention in the previous ones, whenever you're using her Spirit of Resilience, as you see, my shield recharge rate is faster and my shield gain. But the biggest downside to it is when you're getting hit, it will not uh, proc as fast. So if it breaks, it breaks. So you got to be very cautious on how you're using it. With all these enemies in here, I can do this. As you see, really, nothing uh, nothing really has any issues with dying. The only things I've really seen that have real issues with dying are like shielded XMI or uh, Jade XMI. Because those guys, weirdly, have so much like overguard. It's ridiculous how tanky they can be. So I'll be back with y'all whenever the Acolyte spawns, because things tell I'm I'm not having any issues at all. I literally just hit the stop recording button and now he's already spawning in. Oh great, we got misery, of course. All right, reproc this, press this button. Now how does it affect against these guys? Well, as you see, the overtime damage is quite nice to break their shields. And well, since there's not a lot of enemies around him, I can't really alt fire him, but basic clicks killed him, like with ease. Pause real quick since I'm able to. With max multi augmented, which I do have on, I can now show off the highest of everything I have. So right now we're getting 19% health a second with a 12-15 uh, per damage a second, as long as they're in it. Symphony of Mercy gives you 243% damage increase whenever you're using for the weapon, 61% whenever you're using it for power of uh, 7, which is your abilities, and you get 24% shield a second whenever you're using it for shield. But remember to use power of the 7 before using the other two, since they do boost it. Ophanium Eyes is now doing 24% de uh, defense reduction a second without being procced with uh, Power of the Seven. And Glory on High is doing about 3645 uh, on the alternate fire and 364.5 on the normal fire. So what if I proc it with Power of the Seven? With Power of the Seven now on and we go to our abilities, we are now at 76% ability strength, 304% Deathbringer and 30% on shields. This does 24% health a second. Aphenium Eyes is now 30% on the defense reduction, and Glory on High is now at 4,556 and 45, sorry, 455.63. The damage reduction will never exceed 50%, no matter how much ability strength you have on her, but you can increase it with Adaptation and Aviator and Aerodynamic. So I'll see you guys back in the Orbiter, and I'll give you my final thoughts on the suppo this supposed uh, support frame. So what do I overall think about Jade? Jade is a very, very strong Warframe. Sadly, I feel like she's going to get the Dante treatment where they're going to nerf her, but she still should be strong because unlike Dante, she doesn't have much that really makes her busted other than her alternate fire with her four and her Ophanium Eyes that probably reduce the amount of uh, defense reduction it gains per like ability strength and that'd be about it overall though she is quite nice she's good to play with fun to use and as soon as i can figure out how to use things like the evan song and the harmony i still need to get the secondary i haven't gotten it yet once i forgot how to properly use them i'll make a video on them but to me they just don't feel that right but if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you guys hit that uh sub button and do like the video i do appreciate it it does tell me what y'all like to see and stuff like also comment on the type of builds y'all run with her because obviously my build Far from being perfect, far from being that good as well. Oh, crap, I had the Gunslinger build on still. So y'all saw the Gunslinger build, not even the fourth ability focus. No wonder it felt so weird to use. I had negative efficiency. Things I do recommend, though, would be a Topaz Archon Shard. These are quite useful on her. And maybe more than one of these. You could probably get away with just one of these, but I liked having two because having 350 energy felt nice since I'm not running Prime Flow on any of them. But I hope to see you guys in the next video. So tell me what you want to see. I'll more than likely do the Evan Song first since I do like bows, but a weird thing about it is it doesn't get any punch there, which is weird. But I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. See y'all next time.